Hello and welcome to WPLMS updates. In the latest 1.8.4 update, we have added the feature called notes and discussion. So this feature basically allows for improved interaction between an instructor and his students. So to enable this feature, you need to go to the WPLMS options panel course manager. And in the course manager, you will now see a notes and discussion page. Now to disable this feature, you can simply set this page to none and the feature will be off from the site. But in case if you want to use this feature, then you need to create a blank page. And give it the title and make sure you assign the page template as notes and discussion. Now, once you have created this template, you publish this page and connect this page in the notes and discussion section. So once you have saved this setting, now if any student goes to any course, you will now see a plus message icon besides every paragraph in your unit. Clicking on this icon will slide the unit text on the left and and you will see the add a note message. So to add a note, you can simply click on this and add your note. And when I click on the post icon, it will be posted. So by default, every note posted is a private note, which means that only student and the instructor and the administrator of the site can view this comment in the unit for the following paragraph. No other student will be able to view this comment. So if you want to edit this comment, you can simply click on the edit icon. You can also use the newly added inline features. So next is make public. So if you make any comment public, it will now appear for all the students. So making a note public means that you are changing the visibility of this node for all the students. So it now becomes a discussion which means other students can also participate and reply on this comment. So the third is the reply icon. You can click on the icon and add your reply below. Then we have the request for instructor reply. So the instructor of the unit, which is mentioned on the top right section of the unit, will be notified that the student is asking for clarification for the following unit for the following paragraph. So once you click on this, now when we are logged in as a administrator and if I view my inbox, I now see a message from new student and is asking for clarification for the unit platform development environment so as you can see this is my second browser window and i can reply on this comment directly by clicking on this link so when i click on this link i directly see the unit student is seeking clarification for this so to reply on this i can directly reply using using the reply icon or i can reply directly in the message itself so moving on we have then we have a open in pop-up icon so clicking on this will open all the all the public discussions and the and the logged in student notes for the particular unit for this particular section in a pop-up window so it opens a pop-up window and you can click Use the lead load more icon to load more comments for the section. Next is for deleting the comment from a particular section. 
next is the notes and discussion page so if you view any notes and disc if you now view the notes and discussion page you will be able to see all the student i will be able to see all my public discussions and my notes for the unit and the time when they were posted however this changes for instructor and administrator so if we check the same page for an administrator so for administrator we see a lot more sections all notes and discussion because administrator has access to all the notes and discussions on the site so clicking on load more will give you all the notes for notes or discussions for which a reply exists you will see a colored reply icon clicking on this icon will load the reply for the particular note or discussion just just right below the note so this way you can see the whole chain so next is all discussions which shows all the discussions on the going on in the site then we have unit notes so for the instructors the unit notes is the notes created by the student in the units published by them similarly unit discussions are the discussions going on in the units published by them then you have the my discussions which shows all the notes all the discussions done by the current user similarly my notes so we also have a notes and discussion widget in the dashboard so which you can add in the dashboard it will show you all the notes and discussions for the current user so the functionality is pretty much same just that this appears in the dashboard in the reverse order that is the latest posted note or discussion will appear on the top so that's it from wplms updates thanks for watching